what's up youtube and welcome to my channel my name is asia for those that are new here and those that are returning you're the best i love you so much so i got a mic because not asmr but i wanted to start getting into i don't even want to call it a podcast because you know that's so like it's too broad of a word I just like having talks with you guys. I love talking to you guys. I love expressing myself and hearing how you guys relate. Like, literally can relate. Like, I want this to be, like, you know, like, Asia's Corner. Like, I want this to be a safe haven for us where we can come and you didn't have a bad day. I want you to tell me. You know, I don't want, like, to be on this channel with me, you got to be real. You got to be real with yourself. And you got to be not only real with me, but especially yourself. And... Today, I'll, I'll admit, I had a moment today where I was at work. I left work early. I was at work, and just every time the phone rang through my job, I noticed that my body kept getting hot. I started getting really frustrated, and I just started feeling like I, real life, don't belong here. Like, I really don't fit in. And I more so started crying because I'm like, this isn't what I want to do for the rest of my life. Like... I get one life. You really do get one life. And to just be somewhere where you're not happy, it's messing with my mental like it's messing with my mental health. And I should have known that this job was gonna do that because the red flag that I missed and ignored was we had a mental health class training. Like I was just so hyped up on the bread, I wasn't thinking about the mental. Like the physical, yeah, I got the money, I could do what I want. But really, I can't because my hours are nine to six. By the time I get out of work, the freaking sun's down. And it's just I'm tired. I can't. And then I'm supposed to relax until the next day to do it all over again. And then the only times I could really relax is the weekend. Like, I don't want to die over a dollar bill. And especially if the job's not making me happy. And for those that don't know, I, I work at um I work for an insurance company. So, you know, like health insurance at that. So, you know. You already know how that goes, but I made a video earlier saying like anyone that's suffering depression, like I know what it's like to suffer from depression and feel like you don't know where your purpose is or like you don't know where you belong. Like you don't know, like you just know you're getting up, you know, you're taking care of your kids, you know, you're eating, you know, you're going to work just to keep a roof over your head. Like you're just doing this A to Z thing and it just becomes so boring, like and not even boring. Like, I need something exciting in my life. Just It just becomes something that isn't your passion. And the last thing I want to do is die and wish, like, damn, I really could have went towards what I wanted to go towards. Like, we're in our 20s, 30s now, you know, and you don't want to be 70. And I said this in the video a long time ago. If you guys are, like, used to my YouTube, I said this back in 2019, like when I used to make YouTube videos before on the same channel. So if you do go back, you'll be able to see like my previous videos. But I remember saying that I don't want to be like in my 80s and 70s. Like, damn, when I was 30, I had the energy to do that. And I should have and I didn't. You know, I don't want to regret anything. Like, I just regret putting in the wrong times to the wrong things, such as certain jobs. Like when I should have put in that energy into myself. And it's just so hard when you're already dealing with mental health issues that you have to, again, put on this facade, like put on a fake smile and go to work and keep pushing, knowing that you hate this shit, knowing that you don't want to work there. And I get it. I get it. And it's not only just about work. It's just about life. Like anything could make you depressed. If you guys had, God forbid, but you know, if some of you guys had childhood trauma that really like is carrying on into your adulthood that you still haven't healed from yet like i feel like the number one trauma that i haven't healed from yet was my father dying when i was 16 that was i think the most emotionally painful thing way worse than cancer too i had cancer too if you if you guys are new here i had breast cancer we'll get into that story later but that really put something on me like that really I died when he died like that and it's so scary to say that but then four years later I got blessed with my son and he uplifted me but I can't you can't keep 
I felt like I didn't have the proper grieving mechanisms that I should have as a 16 year old losing your parent you know you really don't know any like grieving mechanisms all you know how to do is just cry I didn't know that therapy was an option I have yet to go to therapy and I actually keep seeing ads I like I see signs a lot so I see ads on um YouTube where people are promoting like a therapy like therapists like online therapists and stuff so that is something that I think I'm going to get into. But I just want to remind you, like, you do have a purpose. I know what it's like to wake up and not know your purpose. It's like, you know what you're doing is not what you're supposed to be doing, but you're doing it because it's getting you by. I know what it's like to, like, I feel you. I feel you. I know you, you're you searching for your purpose because your purpose is what's supposed to make you happy and fulfilled. And if you're not happy and fulfilled right now, it's because you're not in your purpose. You're not in that season yet. And yeah, to prepare for it, you're supposed to enjoy the journey there. But I don't want to be depressed through my journey. Like, I want to be happy and then maybe sad sometimes and mad sometimes. You know, the regular human roller coaster emotions. But being depressed throughout the whole journey, that's not the wave. Like, that's not how it's supposed to be. And I, I know I'm rambling right now, but it's just... I just want anyone out there, like if anyone's suffering from, you know, depression and you feel like you're alone, you're not. Like there's so many people that aren't admitting that they're depressed. There's probably some people that are either numb or they just really are at peace. And honestly, I feel like you can be both in a way. Like you you just numbed yourself to certain things and then you're just, you made peace with certain stuff. I just want to be at peace. I don't want to be numb. I want to feel everything and I want to feel through it go over it and be on the other side and I feel that's so important and I just want everyone to just wake up and look in the mirror and love themselves and I I get how depressing and frustrating it is when you look in the mirror you don't like your body you know like you get one body and I can't imagine people that wake up and they, they really don't like their body like they're so depressed with the way they look or they they think they're ugly and you know like they're just doing stuff to their face or just just in general just like I just feel like I'm you know I'm I'm not no mental therapist guru like I just admitted to you guys that I suffer from depression too it's all about how you handle it and I found my way of handling is the gym I love the gym. When I feel like I'm about to break, I go to the gym and I break a sweat. And man, like, and then when you see the difference in your body, it feels good. Growing up, I know we used to be called ugly growing up. A lot of us been called ugly growing up. I've been called ugly growing up. I've been called ugly big nose because I don't know if you guys can see my, like, my button nose. Looks like a pig nose. Like, but I still know I'm beautiful. That's one thing that I kind of never had issues with in a way, kind of, like, I don't know. I always thought I was pretty and I f- I feel you if you feel like you're not. You are. I just don't know who you're comparing yourself to that's making you think that you're not. Because when you compare yourself to others, that's when you start to degrade your value and that's one thing that we shouldn't do. We should never be degrading our value by comparing ourselves to the next person. If you're comparing yourself to the next person, you're already lost. Don't do that because you never know what that next person might be feeling. They could look at you and be like, damn, I wish I had her such and such, or I wish I had his such and such. And then meanwhile, they're like, I wish I had your such and such. And then they're like, and then it's kind of like, you know, it's all about finding a balance and being okay with who you are and what you have. And I find myself feeling sad because I'm not where I want to be. And I have to remind myself that it's a journey to get there. And it's okay to go through the roller coaster of emotions, but being depressed is shouldn't be one of them. I feel maybe changing diets can help. Just looking in the mirror. When I cry and I'm feeling crazy, I look in the mirror. I look in the mirror and I literally look at myself crying like, okay, now that I felt this, now that I cried it, I wash my face, I take a long ass shower. Oh, thank goodness for showers. They're like emotional cleanses like I take a shower I don't know why but after every crying session I take a shower and I feel brand new I feel so relieved and you know 
I know it's, I see 10 minutes on the video and I wanted it to be short, but I want to remind you, like you do have a purpose. I know you don't know that purpose, but please pray, you know, ask God about it or whoever you rely in, ask your most high about it and just trust the process. But also whatever your purpose is, make sure you're praying for happiness along with it because a lot of the times, yeah, we want all the money, we want all the clothes and stuff, but people that actually have that within, they're not really happy. And what's the point of having six figures in your bank account if you're not happy, you know? And that's where I had to learn. I could have all the money in the world. With this job, I it's a great paying job, but I'm not happy there. <laughs> like, I'm not happy. And one thing that I noticed that I noticed that my depression started getting a little bit stronger and I'm fighting through it. I stopped smoking weed and I stopped drinking alcohol and I stopped fornicating. I just cold turkey all three of those things. So I'm really feeling what it's like to be sober every day and face my problems head on without having to roll up a spliff or without having to take a shot of something just to feel through whatever, like I want to be able to go out and not have to drink and smoke just to feel like I'm having a good time, you know, like children do it all the time. Children just wake up and they're just alive. Like they're just so happy to just even live and run through the park. Like these kids don't need no type of outlet to make them, you know, their outlets are the phones nowadays. I have to admit that, but to just be childlike again be happy with no care in the world. I get it. We have bills. We have responsibilities. But does that mean that we're not supposed to be happy? You know? And I just pray we all find our purpose. Like, we, I pray we all find our purpose and we're happy with it. And we can lend a hand to one another. And I feel like in the... Like, this is for everyone, of course. But in the black community, we are born and raised to hate each other. And to me, that is so ridiculous because... Why? Why do I why do I have to hate my sister? Why do I have to hate my brother? Like why do we have to hate each other? Why can't we uplift one another? And we as a community, as black people, I don't care who's fronting right now. Some of us suffer from serious depression and we can't talk about it because not only is life already hard, but life is hard for black people. So it's kind of like, oh, life is already life and on top of that, I'm living life as a black person. So it's like double triple the stress and it's not fun it's not cool and it's okay to admit when you're not okay and when you're depressed so i say this as please please like do your self-care it's okay to take a day off and to sit in the middle of your rug or floor your bed or go outside cry go to the park Sit on a freaking blanket and write and journal and cry. And who cares who's watching? They're gonna people are gonna see you cry. You're human. You know, we're not robots. It's okay to cry. It's okay to scream and be upset. But it's not okay to give up on yourself. And there are a few times when I wanted to give up myself. Like when I was younger, I was very suicidal. I don't know where that spirit came from, but it was on me bad. It was to the point where I got hospitalized for a weekend bad like it was really bad and I put my mom through so much hell with that and I feel so bad as a now that I'm a parent I can't imagine that happening to my son so I try my best to be on my p's and q's when it comes to mental health so I could be the best for him so if he ever falls god forbid into that state I already know how to help him tackle it and I already know the words to say to him so I hope this reaches somebody I hope somebody hears me and they're like, you know what? I could really listen to this video and be like, you know what? I'm not okay. And I'm going to start doing something about it to change that instead of drinking my life away, smoking my life away, having sex with different people. Like I get it. I'm human. Like I'm not perfect. I get it. And I also want you to get that. It's okay to feel how you feel and be depressed. If you're sad that day, don't put on, it's okay to put that fake it till you make it. To me, I can't do that. I can't be fake. Like, I got to be real with me. I have to be real with myself because then I'm only cheating on myself if I'm not. You're only cheating on yourself if you're not. So just to to be real with yourself and to tell yourself, you know what? I'm not okay today. 
It's okay to take a break, look in the mirror and cry and do what you have to do. Feel through the emotions. Like, you don't always have to be tough. You don't always have to be well done steak. <laughs> like, it's okay to be medium rare. It's okay to be soft. And I'm here to help people with that. I want us to help each other. I want you to be, to be able to come into my messages and my comments and be like, you know what? Asia today was not a good day and tell me what happened. And we talk, you know, like it's, I just want us to, I just want this to be like a safe haven for not only myself, but for everyone else that needs to hear it. And that wants to get better and you will get better. I know you will get better. And again, this wasn't supposed to be a long video. I see 16 minutes on here, but I'm so glad I got this off my chest. I would love to do more videos like these. That's why I bought a little microphone because it looked kind of cute. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but again, I pray whoever is going through anything, you will find your light. You will find your purpose and you will find your, you will find your reason to that you're breathing. We're not here to be placed on earth just to work and pay bills. That is not why God created us. Or whoever you're relying, I believe in God. That is not why he created us. And I know that with all my heart. And I'm here to let you know, like, if I'm here, if what, if he's speaking through me to you to find your purpose, hey, I'll be glad to be that vessel. So, again, I feel so much better. I just always like to get stuff off my chest, the chest that I don't have. <laughs> I like to get stuff off my chest because it makes me feel so much better, like so much better. And, yeah, that's all I have for today. Again, this is Asia's Corner. I'm in the little corner of my apartment and just talking to you guys like you're my best friends and, and my family. So much love, blessings. If you guys ever want to speak, you can always hit me in my DMs, on my Instagram, Facebook, wherever, whenever. I'm here for you. Mwah.